that dynamic amen coming from the frequency of amen ra emanating from Kemet and what is now known as Egypt. It's a vibrational frequency. And so we welcome you through that frequency through Reverend Arlene Hilton, who is the um, individual that holds our teen group together, our adult group together. And today in the latest services, you'll see the fruits of our youth and family ministry during this particular Youth Sunday. This particular moment, we're entering into the way of meditation service because meditation is the foundation of everything that springs forth as Agape International Spiritual Center. Meditation is the vibrational foundation for it frees us from limiting beliefs and perception, points of view, positionalities, opinions, interpretation of past experiences, content that's moving through our awareness. It liberates us from seeing that as our identity and then it frees the energy, the cosmic energy that we are living, moving, and having our beingness in. We become liberated so that, that energy, that vitalizing essence of love and beauty, intelligence, power, and more can be the activity of our awareness, which is our real identity. Humanity suffers from an identity crisis. Humanity has the tendency to think they are merely their body or their mind or their emotional body or possessions that they have or they have a, a, a tendency to identify themselves with their moods or the content passing through their awareness. That's an identity crisis. It produces a crisis. It produces a sense of separation now, of course, you're never separated from the presence, but it's the experience of separation. It produces the experience of separation that then brings forth the condition of certain experiences and uh, conditions for disease, conditions for anxiety, anxiousness that in this day and age have been normalized in the human condition, but meditation frees us from seeing our identifying ourselves as the content and it frees us from the identification of uh, what we own and the body temple and the mental body so where does that leave us the presence that's never an absence is an energy of love and beauty intelligence and is conscious awake god knows itself everywhere but here's the deal. The presence of God that recreated each and every one of us after its own image and likeness, which means we have the same faculty to think, independent of any experience, wants to know itself as each and every one of us. The same way that it knows itself as a mighty oak or a daffodil or a rose bush or a dog or a whale or a dolphin, it wants to know its potentiality as you and I. And so we are here to activate our potential. Now you may have gotten caught up in uh, the uh, way of the world that's about accumulating stuff, greedy materialism, things of that particular nature. You may have gotten caught up in the frequency of merely to keep the body temple alive, merely to survive on a daily basis. And maybe there's no vision or goals beyond that. Then you're selling yourself short on the infinite potential that lies within you. Infinite. Now, the surface mind cannot even comprehend infinite. That's, it's a word we use, but the surface mind can't even comprehend what infinitude even means, you know. But that which has no beginning, that which has no end, and that which is everywhere, that which is always uh, expanding as, as the multidimensional universe is reflecting to reveal the fundamental order of the heart mind of the infinite. But you have infinite potential within you. Now, you may have gotten um, a, a fooled into thinking that you're limited by your IQ, you're limited by where you were born, limited by your sexual orientation, the color of your skin, your nationality, your past religion, whatever the case may be. That would be a lie, 
operating as a law in your life. You're unlimited being. You're, you're illimitable, limitless beings. So as you enter into the art and the science of meditation, as I said, you're liberating yourself from the identity crisis and you're freeing, activating the freeing the infinite energy to flow through you. What happens? The spiritual faculties awaken. Intuition, direct knowing. There's an innate wisdom and guidance from the presence operating through all of creation that leads, guides, directs, protects you. There's an activation of creativity resourcefulness, innovativeness. And all of this has nothing to do with the world. However, the world will provide uh, for you uh, the challenges necessary to activate the potential that is within you. So all of this is saying basically two things. You want to live your life, one, to activate your potential. Every single day you want to wake up and, and you want to have some kind of inner desire to be a better version of yourself before the day ends. The rule is soft on others, hard on yourself. You give everybody the benefit of the doubt. <clears throat> you love others to the best you can, can. You don't judge other people. You don't say what they should do or should not do. You're soft on others, but you're hard on yourself. Now, I don't mean beating yourself up, flagellating yourself, but always in your awareness, you're always working on yourself more than trying to fix anybody else. Hard on yourself, soft on others. Benefit of the doubt, love, generosity, forgiveness, patience. With yourself, you do have patience and compassion, but you're a little bit hard on yourself because you're working on yourself on a daily basis, you see. So you ask yourself as you're about to leave your home in the morning, did you stop and meditate before you left your home? Or are you just going to rush out into the world with your surface mind and the limited personality construct running the show? This is the day and age in which the masses are coming into an awareness. When I mean mass, I don't mean the entire world. I mean there's going to be a tipping point very soon in which individuals are not trying to demonstrate from their personality wants and the history of their personality and, and the baggage that the personality uh, contains and try to manifest from that limited self. We're moving into a moment in which a tipping point is happening in which individuals are now demonstrating and manifesting from their sacred connection with the God presence. What does the presence of God want to express as my life in terms of harmonizing prosperity, in terms of health, creativity. So the personality construct with its baggage has less and less power and potency, but our deep surrender to our essential self begins to be the master. And the identity crisis ceases we wake up, and lo and behold, we begin to understand what it means. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and everything else shall be added unto you. You get to live in the bonus round of life because you've gone for the, the main thing, spiritual liberation, freedom. Welcome to you. It's practice. So we sit up straight, the back is erect, but we're not rigid in any way, but just for a moment we are, just for a moment you can take your shoulders and put them up to your ears and squeeze every aspect of your body temple, including your face. Just squeeze, take a little breath in and squeeze release. So the body temple has already practiced the opposite of what you want, 
unrelaxation, tenseness, rigidness. So now you can just let go and let gravity have its way. Let go and let love, let go and let peace. In this precise moment, be here, be now. Don't consider. Release the future. Release what you think is the future, what you're going to do later on in the day. When this, when this particular way of meditation service is over, no, don't, don't, don't rush out there. No, no. Let go of what your mind calls the past. Where you were before you came here? No, no. Just be right here, right here where this breath is. This breath is sacred. It's present. Underlying your breath is an intention. To wake up to your limitless self, imagine for a moment that as the body is breathing, you're breathing in through your heart space, and you're breathing out life and love. It's the right use of your imagination for a moment. You're just breathing into the heart space, breathing out life and love. You have a great intention to wake up to your glorious nature. And you're beginning to master. Your attention, so that it is simultaneously aware of the breath and the vibration of your intention. That might even put a little smile on your face, because you're not in the future. There's no anxiousness about anything. You're not imagining a past. So there's no regret or shame, blame. You're right here, where the breath and your intention is. Your entire being is available to catch. The eternal broadcast of the Holy Holy Spirit, inspired wisdom and transformational knowledge and unconditional love. It's a broadcast that's cascading through all creation and beyond. The real broadcast, not the temporary fake news, but the real news. God is everywhere. Life is everywhere. Your entire being is in a deep. Availability, listening mode to catch that, and with the beginner's mind, you're sitting as if for the very first time. Now, add one more thing. Feel yourself floating in space. Give yourself permission to feel spiritual buoyancy. So you're less and less identified with body, more and more identified with your spaciousness and your consciousness, which is energy. You're floating in space. Attention. Intention, breath, listening, first time, it's 
spiritual buoyancy floating. Smile on the face. You are floating as awareness in an ocean of love intelligence. The greater and greater intentionality to wake up to your glorious nature. Notice the body is breathing and it's only breathing presently. Past and future does not exist. It's a 
frequency of deep listening, catching the broadcast of let there be life, let there be light, let there be beauty, intelligence, and love. The real news, the real gospel, the news, the good news, the real news. You're catching it. Where's your attention? You're embracing the vibration of your intention to wake up, to be right here, right now, past and future dissolves. The breath keeps you present. And lowly listening takes over to catch the eternal broadcast. You're imagining that you're just floating in spaciousness. As within, so without. Spaciousness within, spaciousness without.
gives your attention. You are spaciousness, floating in a sea of love, beauty, intelligence, which is the presence of God. You may have a body, but you're not your body. You have a mind, but you're not your mind. You are pure awareness, buoyant and light. The yoke is easy and the burden is light and luminosity. You are attentive to the vibration of your intention to continue to wake up to your glorious nature. The imaginative past is gone, the imaginative future is gone. You're right here where that breath is. Aware that you are aware. Aware that you are awareness. Another moment.
and from this expanded awareness that we are awareness itself. We discover that with expanded awareness, our choice ability is magnified. We can actually choose rather than react. So we choose gratitude in this moment. In this prayerful moment, we choose thanksgiving. In this prayerful moment, we choose appreciation. We choose to be grateful. And we allow for this field of gratitude to allow us to see more clearly. This is the clear day in which we can see forever. Life is everywhere. God is everywhere. Beauty is everywhere. Peace, dynamic good is everywhere. We recognize the presence. And any sense of separation is now dissolved and oneness reigns supreme. I am. I am what thou art and thou art what I am. We're one with God. We're one with life, we're one with beauty, we're one with intelligence, we're one with divine abundance. And from the consciousness of oneness, the word is spoken. This is the word of in the beginning was the word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and there was nothing really created without God, without the Word of God. This is our new beginning. Something new is being set in motion. In the beginning, the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word is God. This Word is full to overflowing with dynamic peace, wellness, and well-being harmonizing of prosperity, wealth, and abundance, pure joy, bliss, and ecstasy, dynamic creativity, unconditional, all-conditional love. This is the word that's being spoken. Safety and well-being. This is the word that's being spoken for each and every one of us that we may be free today. Now, this now, this now, to now, this now. Anything that would hinder this has no power here, for there is only one power, the presence, God, the presence that's never an absence. We practice the presence of God. We do not practice the absence of God. We practice the presence of God. As we presence ourselves in this ocean of devotion, we're set free from any sense of separation, lack, and limitation. We live from the overflow of more good than we can imagine. And it's happening right now through and as each and every one of us all around the globe. Now, we give thanks for this awareness and we set ourselves free by releasing the word. The vibrational frequency of it is done knowing that it shall not and will not return void, but it will return, fulfilled thereof. It has returned. The cascade of tonic, tonic chemicals flowing through the body temple right now, there's already ramifications of the word spoken and the meditation practiced now. Therefore, all we can, can say is, and so it is. Oh, and so it is, and so it is, and so I am, and so we are. Amen. Ra. So be it.
Mm. As we open our eyes for a moment and just wherever you are on planet Earth, just kind of bow to whoever you're with right now and, and just look at each other and say, now so be it. Just a reminder that we're carrying that frequency throughout the course of this day. And living from the overflow, this is our opportunity to support our spiritual community, otherwise known as Agape International Spiritual Center. As I said last week, you know, there's three levels of Agape. You know, we support this community with all of its ministries, programs, projects, staff, getting the necessary equipment to do what is necessary to broadcast all of the programs that we have here. That's one level. The second level of agape is agape is a, is, a, is a healing and birthing field to birth beings on the world. So that three, with enlightened beings, the world changes. So the reason why we're here is to actually birth the beloved community. So it's a stabilizing agape so that agape births beings that are awake so these awakened beings actually change the frequency of the planet. And you can be a part of that right now through your generosity. All of you veterans who have been supporting Agape for so long, my gratitude to you for stepping up to the plate and giving unconditionally. Thank you so very much. And we'll enter into that giving process now. If you already know how to give, please do not hesitate. Begin your giving process right this moment. And... Um, if you're just starting, this is what you do. You take out your phone. I'm going to give you like four ways to give, and, I'll, and this will be on the screen as well. Some of you can take uh, uh, shots of it with your camera so you have it throughout the course of the week if you get an impulse to share with Agape. 424-321-6243. That's the, f the number you can text the word GIVE to. Text the word GIVE to 424-321-6243. Your phone will prompt you, and then you choose the amount you want to give and the regularity of the gift. If you put the word cover, that means you'll cover the expenses of that technology. It's minimal expenses. If you want to um, go to our QR code, it's on the screen right now. You can take a shot of it with your camera and just have it on your computer, or you can port your camera to it right now, and it'll take you to the vibrational, safe, and secure spiritual funnel that goes right to the giving uh, portal of Agape, right on our website. Again, you choose the amount right there. Check out, and you will have given already. If you want to go directly to the website on your computer without your phone, then you just go to agapelive.com. Find the, 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 the donation portal at the top and give that way. Many of you want to give on Agape's Facebook page. You can do that. Or if you want to mail it in, make out your checks, your money orders to Agape International. Send it to Agape International at 8549 Wilshire Boulevard, Suite 11, 1156, Beverly Hills, California, 90211. Those are the ways to give Obviously, we're also celebrating our 36th anniversary, and so there'll be ways to give along those lines as well. Go forth and multiply the consciousness of the all good as Reverend Julie comes forth and highlights a couple of announcements. Good morning. I love making the healthy choice the easy choice. So as we share some of the offerings happening here at Agape, take a listen, see what's yours, and then sign up, register, mark it in your calendar so we can hit the ground running in 2023. All righty, so you can visit agapelive.com for information about everything that I'll be mentioning today and to find out about all of our weekly offerings. If you are in the LA area, join us today live and in person, 11 a.m. for meditation, followed by 11 30 fellowship service. We would love to see you here. All services will, as always, be live streamed. Agape will continue to be open at 11 a.m. for meditation, followed by 11.30 fellowship service throughout all of December. So we'd love to have you come by in December as well. Christmas Day, we're going to have two services. One is the Way of Meditation service starting at 6.45 a.m. The other is at 9 a.m. fellowship service so that our staff can go home and be with their families the rest of the day. As always, all of our services will be live streamed. 
and Christmas Eve service is happening live and in person. This is always a big favorite. We would love to have you join us. You can make a plan to celebrate with Agape on Christmas Eve. Service begins 6.30 p.m. with meditation, followed by a carols program at 7 p.m. Bring the whole family. We look forward to seeing you then. Join us Saturday, December 10th at 11 a.m. Pacific time for a special free virtual viewing of the film Gratitude Revealed, followed by an interactive panel discussion and Q&A with Reverend Michael, Gratitude Revealed filmmaker Louis Schwartzberg, spiritual teacher Danielle Laporte, and well-being expert Koya Webb as Agape's 36th anniversary gift to our beloved community. This event provides an immersive cinematic experience and an opportunity to open our hearts, see each other with compassion and understanding, and experience a shift in consciousness on gratitude's vital role in our lives and how we can work towards experiencing more of it daily. So you can get your free tickets today at agapelive.com forward slash gratitude. This Tuesday, Laughter Yoga meets on Zoom at 6 p.m., facilitated by Agape practitioner Martin Weech. On the website, click the banner to register. No experience is necessary. Freedom Path Ministry Zooms this Wednesday, 5 p.m. Release any sense of addiction, old beliefs, or attachments. You can go to our website, click the Freedom Path banner at the top of the page for more information and to register. This is a gift to the community, and anybody may attend. All are welcome. Loving Hands Unite, the Adoption Foster Care Fertility Ministry, will have their monthly meeting this Friday, December 9th, 7 p.m. via Zoom. If you'd like support with any aspect of the adoption process, email lovinghandsunite at agapelive.com to receive the Zoom link and join. Save the date. You're going to want to do this. Reverend Michael's class, Meditation 2.0, The Evolution of Consciousness. It begins Tuesday, January 17th, 2023. Explore various modes of meditation and find the threshold to cosmic consciousness as you meet your mystical nature. Doesn't that sound wonderful? We will see you then. Also, Reverend Michael has put all of his supplements and superfoods into one easy powder, Adapto Zen Superfood Greens. Try it. You're going to find that it also tastes great, even just in water. You try the whole bundle. Get your monthly supply with the Adapto Zen Vitamin D3 plus K2 to boost your immunity. Order yours today. Go to Nutrize.com, click on Adapto Zen, and get 10% off your first order. Many blessings to you. Thank you very much, Reverend Julie. And on that gratitude reveal event that we're going to have, that's free. It's a part of our 36th anniversary gift to the community. So sign up for that particular event. And as Reverend Julie mentioned, we're going to have an interactive panel after the showing of that particular movie. Let's have a moment of prayer here as we just give thanks for the floodgates being so wide open that the flow of substance is occurring right here at Agape from our global participants. Harmonizing prosperity is welling up in Agape International that we may continue to do the work that we are called to do and to be. It's happening now, and so it is. Amen. You heard me at the beginning of the service uh, thank Reverend Arlene Hilton for preparing the way for the Way of Meditation service. I'm going to call her forth back now. She has a wonderful announcement. Grand Rising, I am so grateful for this moment to just share with you some of the goodness of Agape and to ask for your continued support. As you all know, it's Agape's 36th anniversary and we get to understand and know that right where we are in this moment, there's a greater good that is happening. We get to be that greater good for the world. And we've been inspired by all the gifts that Agape has given us. You know, each year around this time, we ask for you to consider a gift to Agape in honor of this anniversary and year end, above and beyond what we normally give. So yes, we give every Sunday, we serve our community in this way, and we get to give above and beyond at this time. This has been an incredible year. And now we are able to worship together in person and online. We have created a global meeting place and 
It has brought us closer together. And it's so interesting because I've heard people complain about Zoom and complain about being on time online, but I'm in high gratitude because I believe it's brought us together. We're closer than we've ever been. And I stand in gratitude for this ability to be with you even in this moment due to technology, which we've been able to upgrade because of you and your gifts. And so we're able to be a global community now in a powerful way. Your loving commitment and your response to the call for the immediate and critical support has allowed us to do many things, to continue our daily operations, which includes staff, equipment, up-leveling, technology, and so much more. We have expanded our Sunday services. Overall, online, this online presence reaches over 300,000 people worldwide. That's a lot of people. We support more than 400,000 individuals through online daily prayer and meditation. Every, every other Monday, I'm online with you, and I get to feel the vibration of you all with the prayer. There's meditation. There's prayer. We get to do that with you daily, seven days a week. I think that's powerful. We broaden up and level our reach on our online ministry offerings and Agape, agape in a university courses. So we have classes. We have touched more people than we ever have before. We provide for you 30 ministries, ongoing programs. We have up-leveled in so many ways. Reverend Michael has gifted the community annual summits with some of the most beloved and powerful spiritual thought leaders of our time, and further supporting all of us through the intense time of flux and uncertainty. As we reflect during this transformative year, as individuals committed to our spiritual growth, your year and year gift is more essential than ever before. Today, we are extending to you the opportunity to make a year end tax deductible gift above and beyond your normal tithing. Our goal this year is to receive at least $201,000 year end contributions which can be donated as a one-time contribution or $83 per month. I have done both. Many people last year gave $1,000 over and above their tithes and probably realized they didn't even miss it. Those of you who contribute $400 or more will receive a limited edition t-shirt and be the first to receive the digital download of a brand new EP from Van Morrison and the Agape Unconditional Soul Ensemble. And also, we will send you your t-shirt once you have tithed and given your offering. We will send that to you uh, via mail. For a $200 contribution, you will receive the digital download of the EP from Van Morrison and Agape Unconditional Soul Ensemble. This very special EP has not been released to the public yet, so you get it first. I just want to thank you in advance, and I would like to say that I stand before you because I've been here since 2001, and I'm a baby. There are people who have been here much longer than me. And I stand in gratitude and very emotional because I'm so grateful for this community, the highest transformation I have had to support your youth and to support this community has happened since I've been here at Agape. It has been the most powerful time of my life and has taken me into the world where I'm working at a treatment center, helping those in recovery with these principles. And I get to serve humanity because of this beloved community. So as you serve this community, we get to go out and serve the world. And the reading today spoke about kindness. We get to be the kindness and love for one another. So as we give, yes, it is a financial gift, but it expands this community in the most beautiful way so that we can touch many, many, many beloveds out in the world. And so let me tell you a few ways that you can give before I break down and start crying. The QR code, we have a QR code. You can just fo point your phone at that code and it will give you the information that you need. 
for our live streamers or love streamers, you can go to who are on YouTube and Facebook live, our community out there, you just click on the year end banner and emphasize this on the front of the page, there's agapelive.com to, the, to make a gift online. Or you can give your, our gift using the donate to donate phone number, text the dollar amount and the word anniversary 2424-321-6243. So there's many, many ways to give. <sighs> Thank you. Blessings, Agape Nation. Blessings, Reverend Arlene. She has shared with you that we have two fundraisers a year, one in July and one at the end of the year, uh, November through December for our anniversary. And you can participate in that right now. She indicated that we're all around the globe. As you tune in later this, this afternoon, in the next two services, you'll see one of our teens uh, speaking to us from China. And there are, uh, we're touching so many people around the globe. And so this is your opportunity to give, as she said, over and above your weekly or monthly gifts, however it is that you give, uh, to support your spiritual community. And you can do that right now. Remember, you text anniversary. Let us know it's your anniversary gift. Okie dokie, artichoke. We stop in this moment, and we uh, hear the vibration of this song for just a few seconds as we prepare ourselves for this benediction, feeling and sensing the power and the presence and the love. I'm tired of the guilt. Guilt is not a spiritual practice. That brings me pain. Now is the time for me to let go of the shame. Shame is not a spiritual the practice. Past behind Hanging in the past is not a spiritual practice. I see a new we have a new horizon in front of us. I'm ready it's about change and, and transformation, becoming the next great vision and version of our essential self. And we're now vibrationally ready for this change, this transformation, this moment of metamorphosis, becoming more and more and more of ourself. We forgive ourselves, we release ourselves to the glory of the living one, the great power, the great presence, the great love, the great joy that is active in our awareness right now that no circumstance, no situation, no person, place, nor thing can steal from us because it hasn't been given to us by person, place, or thing. It is intrinsic to our being. We stabilize this awareness and we walk and we talk and we act from it, anchoring the realm of ever-expanding good on earth as it is in the heart, mind, of the internet. We feel this joy, we give thanks for it, and we celebrate it now and unto forevermore. And so it is. Have a bright day. We'll see you the next two services. You're going to be great, grateful that you're tuning in.